All right. Well, I guess we've already got everybody that registered this morning. You guys were quick on the quick on the jump this morning. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Ashley Jones. I'm the communications director here at the Calhoun County Area Chamber Visitor Center. And today we're going to hear a bit more about our 20% uh, corporate tuition scholarship with JSU. And we are joined today by Ashley Hanvey, is the assistant director of graduate admissions. Lauren Finley is the director of admissions. And Kelly Martin is the director of enrollment initiatives. So ladies, take it away. Okay, well, thank you so much, Ashley, and thank you for letting us go ahead and get this done before classes start for the fall. Um, obviously, this is a new program that's being offered or a new um, scholarship that's being offered for the fall 2021 semester. So we thought it would be helpful to go ahead and provide an overview of what the scholarship is, um, some information about um, ways to verify employment and things like that before, before we get started with classes for the semester. So, um, so today we're just gonna give kind of a general overview of the partnership, um, what the scholarship is. Um, we'll also go over some details about how to be eligible for it, who would be considered, um, how to verify your employment, which is gonna be really important, um, the, the way that you're gonna be able to access the scholarship. And then I'm gonna turn it over to Lauren and Ashley to talk about um, admissions requirements, the application process itself. And then we'll highlight a couple of programs, um, a couple of things going on on campus that um, members of the chamber might be interested in doing um, at JSU. So um, just to give a general kind of overview, if you haven't already caught up on, on the news um, articles and things like that that came out about the partnership. So this is um, JSU is offering um, a 20% tuition scholarship to any member um, or any employee of the Chamber of Commerce or any employee part-time or full-time um, of chamber members. So if you work for the chamber, I'm sorry, if you work for a business that's a member of the Chamber of Commerce, you would be able to access this, whether you're part-time, full-time, whether you want to take classes at the undergraduate level or the graduate level, um, that 20% off of tuition as available. Um, and it's starting this semester for fall 2021. So this next um, bit of information here is just kind of the fine print of what goes into the scholarship. So like I said, it's new for this upcoming semester. So it would not be retroactive, um, you know, if you're kind of employed mid-semester or looking at past semesters that you've already taken classes. And then it just won't combine with any other institutional aid or tuition discount. So if you're receiving already some sort of institutional scholarship um, or a discount off your tuition, it won't combine with that. And then just general um, scholarship requirements usually anyway is a 2.0 institutional GPA in order to keep that. So at the undergraduate level, that's good academic standing. So we would at least want you to have that to make sure that you know, you're able to move forward and graduate and all that good stuff. So as long as you meet those criteria, then we you would be able um, to access the scholarship. So um, at this point, we have around 30 people who have been awarded the Chamber Scholarship at Calhoun County. So um, if, if you have employees or if you are an employee that has verified your employment in the last week, you should be you know, receiving a decision or hearing back from us sometime this week about that. Um, and there's still time to get that done. So with that in mind, I'm going to turn it over to Lauren to talk about how to apply and some of the requirements at the undergraduate level. Thank you, Kelly. My name is Lauren Finley. I'm the undergraduate director of admissions here at JSU, and our office will process any of the applications for you or your staff that want to take advantage of this program. Um, we are still accepting um, applications for the fall semester. The fall semester begins on August the 18th. Um, and we do offer um, classes in the spring. So if you have someone that is interested and they cannot get in for the fall, we do still encourage you all to apply. And um, our fall 2022 application opens tomorrow. So starting tomorrow, you can apply for um, any of the, the terms through fall 2022. Um, when you do complete the application or your staff, you would go to our website, jsu.edu slash apply, and you would select the appropriate application type. So that may be first time freshman, it could be first time transfer, or it could be a returning application. 
Um, the application is free when you complete um, the, the proper steps. Um, those steps would include selecting the Calhoun County Chamber as your business partnership on the application. Once you do that um, and you submit your application, the fee will automatically be waived. And then we will ask that you have your company send your verification of employment to enroll at jsu.edu. So in the next slide, we'll go over the um, requirements for undergraduate admission to the university. We are test optional, meaning we do not require the ACT or the SAT score at this time for undergraduate admissions. So for first time freshmen, all the students would need to do is complete the application and send us their high school transcript. If they have already graduated, the high school transcript will need to show that they have graduated with the graduation date and their final GPA. Um, we do require minimum 2.0 GPA for undergraduate freshman admission. For first time transfer students, it's the same. You would have to submit your application and then we do require a 2.0 transfer GPA. The transfer GPA is calculated based on the courses that transfer in. So if you have a student um, who has attended another college or university, the courses that do actually transfer towards their degree would be calculated for that 2.0 GPA. If they have less than 24 credit hours, we would need them to send us their high school transcript in addition to all of their transcripts from every institution attended, whether they earned one credit or 15 credits, all of their transcripts from any college or university do have to be sent officially to our institution. And we will accept transcripts via mail, email, as long as they are sent directly from the sending institution or any services like parchment or eScript. The students do have to be eligible to return to their last institution, um, both for academics and disciplinary reasons. And then for students who have previously attended JSU, whether they earned credit just of one credit hour or more, um, their application process is a little bit shorter. They would complete the readmission application, which is a shorter application, and then they would send any transcripts from institutions attended since they attended JSU. So if they have never attended another college or university since leaving JSU, all they have to do is send us their application. Um, and then, of course, the same steps if they have attended another college after or after that. So um, and their returning student, um, as long as they're in good academic standing, there's really not a, a process or a requirement for a GPA for returning students. OK, so now I'll turn it over to Ashley to talk about graduate admissions. Good morning, um, my name is Ashley Hanby and I am the Assistant Director of Graduate Studies here at JSU. So I'm really excited to talk to you about the graduate admissions process and the programs that we offer at the graduate level. So we have over 70 programs currently here at JSU and that is growing each semester. Um, we're looking at add, adding possibly five or six within the next academic year is what we're hoping. Um, so out of those programs, we have over 40 programs that can be earned 100% online. So if you like that online atmosphere um, where all your classes are online, we definitely have a program that can suit that need for you. We also have a lot of our programs that offer a hybrid option, meaning that you may have some classes that you have to come to on campus and some that you do completely online. And then we have some that also offer a full face-to-face -face if you're the type learner that enjoys those face-to-face -face classes and prefer that method. So we have a lot of different options for you. Um, just like undergrad, as Lauren was telling you, we are test optional, um, so we do not require the GRE, the GMAT, or the MAT, and that goes through the summer of 22. And um, so if you're doing fall 21, spring 22, or summer 22, and um, we are not requiring any test for admissions purposes. And um, the only exception to that would be our MBA program. MBA, um, theirs is a little bit different with the GMAT. As long as you have a minimum GPA of a 2.7, you qualify for the waiver. Otherwise, you would be required to do the GMAT. And um, so much like Lauren as well for the undergrad, we have an online application. You can submit your free online application by choosing that you're part of the business partnership. Our requirements, you must hold a undergraduate degree from a regionally credited institution or a foreign equivalent. 
you are required to submit all official transcripts with your degrees posted. So we do not have to have, if you went to a community college and then got your degree from an, a four-year institution, we just have to have that degree posted transcript. And so that's a little bit different than undergrad. Um, we also require that every program has a little bit different admission requirements for us. Um, so it depends on the program as to what else you would need as far as recommendation letters, um, statement of goals, that type of thing, it's different based on every program. We do have a few programs that do not qualify for the chamber discount, and that is because they're already a lockstep tuition. So it's already a discounted rate. And so you may find a program that you may wanna do one of these programs listed at the bottom, the Master of Fine Arts, the MPA program, our MSW social work program, or the athletic training program because they're already discounted, you're still getting a great deal if you choose to do one of those outside of the partnership. So just because maybe you wanna do that and it doesn't qualify for the deal, I highly encourage you to go ahead and look into that if that's your passion and where you want to go. Um, so all of our programs, we have a full list of them on our website. And there you'll also see all of their requirements as far as the recommendation letters, resumes, and they're listed by program. And as always, we're here to help you through this process every step of the way. Okay, thanks, Ashley. We've been really excited to see a lot of first-time graduate students coming in. We've seen several um, pursuing education degrees at the graduate level, um, several MBAs as well. So um, if you already have a degree, then you know, now's a good time to consider going back and getting that, that next degree. So this is the question that a lot of people have had, um, both employees and um, the student and the employers, as far as how to verify employment and what we actually need to see in order to, to be sure that, that you are employed by one of the businesses that's a chamber member. Um, it's very simple. This language makes it seem like it's not, but it is a lot more straightforward than all these words make it seem. Um, basically, what you will do if you're the student and you are interested and, and you're wanting to verify your employment, what you will do is contact the HR department or the hiring manager at the business that you work for and have them send your verification in to us. So um, if your company has company email addresses that have the company in the domain name, um, like mine is an at jsu.edu email address, um, they can send that to enroll at jsu.edu and all we'll need them to include in the body of the email is the information on the right. So make sure that they just include the, the, the business partnership that they're wanting um, your file to be associated with, um, your name. And if you have a student ID, that is super helpful because it helps us make sure we've got the right person, um, the name of the company. And then for the written verification of employment, that can be as simple as just a statement saying, um, this person is an employee here, or this person has been an employee since April of 2019 or what have you. Um, if your company does not provide company email addresses, so if you're operating from a Gmail account or something like that, um, you can still email in this information. We just ask that you put it on a company letterhead and scan and email that to us so that we have some way of knowing that it is official from the business. Um, and if you have any questions about this as far as what counts or um, how to go about this process, you can always email this enroll at jsu.edu email address. There's several of us in the office that have access to that. So we're monitoring that daily um, and responding to that as soon as we get it. So if you are a current student um, and you are not coming to JSU for the first time or coming back to JSU after time away, we don't need you to do any sort of application or anything like that. You don't have to submit an inquiry. All you have to do is just go directly to your employer and have them verify your employment. Um, that will come to us and we'll know that even though maybe you applied two years ago um, and we don't have any sort of business association with you, once they verify your employment, that will be what lets us know that you're eligible or to check you for eligibility for the scholarship. So that that's um, much more straightforward for students that are already at JSU and um, maybe you started a new job or maybe you're just learning about the Chamber Partnership. So we also wanted to highlight just a couple of programs that may be of interest, especially for students that um, might have 
gone to college before or gone to JSU before and um, have some credits but don't have the degree yet. Um, or also if you're looking for something kind of general at the graduate level too. So um, the integrated studies program is a way that students can build their own major um, in consultation with advisors who can look at, um, if you're an undergraduate, look at courses that you've already taken, um, see what will count towards what degree and kind of what is the best path for you based on what you want to do in the future and the credit that you've already earned um, how to what classes to take and what's the best path to get you to graduation. Um, the other thing that this program does is award credit for work experience. So for those that are already in the workforce, this could be a, a great way to go ahead and get credit for some of the things that they've learned out in the field um, instead of having to take the class for them. Um, and it's also a fully online program. So that's another benefit for working adults um, who are trying to balance kind of multiple responsibilities is having the flexibility, um, not only that this program offers as far as courses taken, but also the delivery method of um, not having to come to campus as much if you don't want to. Um, and this is available at the undergraduate and graduate level. So um, this is a great you know, program to explore if you're kind of not sure where to begin, because they can also advise you based on you know, if you're considering another major and help you determine what's the best decision for you. Um, and then I also wanted to highlight the Try It course that we're offering. So we are offering a free course for the fall semester. Um, it's completely free. So there's no tuition, no fees, no textbook charges. Um, and this is a good way if maybe maybe you already have a degree and you're just interested in the topic, or maybe you've never gone to college and you're considering, you know, if it, if it will be right for you. Um, this is a way to kind of try it out and see how online classes work. So for the fall semester, this class is going to be SW306, Stress, Coping, and Resilience. So last year, the class was related to pandemics um, and how pandemics work. And so we thought that, you know, this topic is really timely based on the stress that um, we've all gone through um, with the kind of global health crisis that's going on. So um, the class is fully online and it's self-paced. So you don't have to worry about so many deadlines that you can't keep up and things like that. You can kind of work whenever um, you have time and anyone at all can take this class. So you can be a JSU graduate, you can have no college credit, um, or you can be a current student. As long as you have a high school diploma, then you can um, so you can register for the class. So you can get more information at jsu.edu slash try it. And what we'll just need is the application. So if you're not already a student, you will fill out an application. But if you email enroll at jsu.edu, we will give you a fee waiver. So that application will be free um, and then you won't pay anything. There's really no risk involved in this course. So we recommend this for really anyone who's interested in learning about it or interested in trying JSU. So with that, um, here is our contact information. Like I said, this enroll at jsu.edu is a good place to start because multiple people get that email. Um, and if not, then mine and Lauren's and Ashley's contact information is listed as well. So at this time, we'll just kind of take questions. Um, Ashley, Ashley J, if you will help us um, kind of go with questions that folks might have. Yes, absolutely. Let's see if I can pop myself back up. There we go. <laughs> Um, does anybody have any questions? Uh, you can put them in the chat or there's also the Q&A box. You guys should be able to see that in your window. Um, so I'll give you a second just to type that up or ask what you need to. I have a quick note about the admission requirements for students that are interested in the triac course because there are some differences between um, regular admission to JSU and then um, and then the triad. So you would want to on the application select that you are interested in taking the free course. But then also, if you are an alum of JSU, you do not have to send transcripts from the colleges that you've attended since last attending JSU. So I apologize if that was like a repeat. I just really wanted to emphasize that that's a unique thing for alumni that they don't have to send those. Um, transcripts to JSU. Nice. I know I signed up for Dr. Ryan's class last summer and try to help make sense of the pandemic. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> well, all right. I guess nobody really has any questions at the moment. Um, if that changes, you can always email me. Uh, my email here at the chamber is Ashley J and it's A-S-H-L-E-E. -E. Um, J at calhounchamber.com. I'm going to put that in the chat for you guys. 
to copy and paste it real quick. Um, but yeah, if you ladies don't have any other final comments, I think we're good to go. Okay, yeah, well, we're really excited about this. We've been happy to see such success already with applications and current students who have learned about it and taken advantage of it. So we definitely hope to see more. Um, and if you are attending or listening in on behalf of your business, and maybe you're not necessarily the student, but you're listening for more information, um, if there's any way that we can, you know, promote this or help your employees, you can feel free to direct them to any of us. We'll be glad to um, answer questions that anyone has. So. All right, perfect. Well, again, thank you, ladies, for your time today. And thank you, everybody that was able to join us. Or if you're viewing this later, I hope it was informational. But again, if you have any questions, um, you can always email any of us and we will get you what you need. So hope you have a great week. And thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye bye.